What's up you guys? So we're back in the kitchen today because I got all these peppers that I really need to do something with because they are beginning to rot. Well, some of them have rotted in my fridge. Um, so that's the first line of business and then we just gonna see what else we can get done today. But yeah, like I said, I have all these peppers that I harvested, you know, over time and I've been pondering on what to do with them. So what I decided to do was to make cowboy candy. I have this many jalapenos and I actually bought more from the store. But then I also have the sugar rush cream peppers, which I think will be a nice addition. And then I just have this little handful of habaneros, which I'm also just gonna toss into the mix. In addition to that, um, I did pick up a yellow bell pepper just to add a little bit of mildness, mildness to the mix since we are adding in like these super spicy habaneros into the mix. And like I said, if I feel like I need to add more of the jalapenos in, I did buy some from Aldi. So this is my store bought bag. All right, so being that this is like one of the last summer projects, um, I really wanna make my life easier. Therefore, I will be using this little chopper contraption thing that I purchased from Aldi. I really love it. Actually, I use it to make like my salads and stuff. And it has like a measuring scale here for up to five cups of whatever thing that you're using. So this is gonna be really helpful. That way I can stay on par for the recipe, which I don't know where my phone is. I'm kind of like scatterbrained right now because I'm trying to do a lot and I should probably chill. All right. So here's the thing about doing these projects. I am trying to kind of spread all of my canning stuff out a bit. That way I'm not extremely overwhelmed with the tasks, but I'm also getting to the point where I absolutely have to do something with these harvests, especially these peppers. I don't want any more to go bad because trust and believe Quite a few have already rotted. Um, and it just, I don't know, it feels so wasteful to me. And so I end up feeling terrible about it. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for myself to get through these projects. So with the help of little things like that, like, first of all, look how freaking perfect these look. <coughs> freaking amazing. I love it. So I am just going to do myself a favor and power through this. And I pray to have a beautiful product at the end of it all. And I know this is loud, probably extremely obnoxious, but is doing what I needed to do for this here. So boom, like that, we got all those beautiful bell peppers. And so what I plan to do with all these, what I plan to do with all of the hot peppers is just cut the the tip off and then just do the same thing just run them through so I probably will be able to put a few of these in here at a time and these are scotch bonnet peppers I thought that I was going to dehydrate these but the recipe actually called for more peppers and so therefore I'm adding in it to the mix as well and then also the recipe said to slice these into rounds i like the idea of this being more like a relish consistency that way i can pour it 
over top of um, like cream cheese, add it into like salsas, stuff like that. Like, so I don't want it to be so chunky to where I'll have to do more, more work on the, the tail end of things by having to chop it up even more when I'm doing all of that. So also you notice I am wearing gloves because I be damned. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to suffer later on because I was not protecting myself. So highly, highly suggest protecting yourself when you are doing any sort of work using peppers. All right, several hours later. So I went on ahead, I got all of my peppers chopped up and I decided last minute to also put in some red onion just to kind of like bulk up the recipe a little bit because I think I was short like maybe about a half of a pound. So now we need to go on ahead and get the brine growing. growing. So we got two cups of apple cider vinegar and then we are doing Six cups of sugar, but I want to say I may not have enough. So we'll start off with this and just see if I'm going to end up adding brown sugar or not. So you have four cups of the white and then two cups, two cups of brown. All right, and as for the spices, I'll be using celery seed. Let's see, half a teaspoon of celery seed, a half of turmeric, Then one teaspoon of cayenne powder, or cayenne powder is what the recipe is calling for, but I'm just using my ground up pepper from previous garden seasons because, you know, we're trying to get this gone. And then three teaspoons of granulated garlic. Again, I'm using something from the garden. This is my garlic scape powder. a rolling boil and we're rolling all right so now that that has come to a boil let's go on ahead and drop all of our peppers up in here Ooh, that smells good already yeah baby so now we just need to allow this to simmer for i want to say the recipe said five minutes hold on oh please um yes add the peppers and simmer for exactly four minutes and then use a slotted spoon to transfer the peppers loading into clean sterile canning jars. And of course we have those sterilizing in our canner over here um, with one fourth inch of upper rim space. And then once all of the peppers are out of the brine, you wanna allow for the brine to boil hard for six minutes. So we're just gonna fast forward through this part. All right, it's been four minutes. So we gonna go on ahead. We're gonna pull a couple of chars out at a time. Mm -hmm. That way I'm not allowing these to cool down too much. And then we are just going to be feeding again the peppers in at about one fourth of an inch head space. Are 
you trying to be an actor or like what what is your end goal? I say entertainer. Entertainer. Entertain okay. Gotcha. In a way of funny. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't know what a comedian is because it's like you know what I'm saying. Some people hit the stage and they're like, you gotta hit the stage. So what about the people that do movies? If Kevin Hart just did the movies and never did stand up, would he be a comedian? But if he just did the stand up and never did the movies, he would still a comedian. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's one thing y'all need to like figure out what audience that you want to be able to entertain. It's not. I feel like it's not that easy though, to throw you in a movie because you have to. It'll be you step to stick to the strip. Actually, enter like I'm with somebody dry. How can I be me? And that's what I was talking about now, man. Show this question too. Okay. Um, I asked my boy, which duo do you feel like is better? What inspired you to start this show? Mm, it's a good thing. Um, honestly, I have been doing it on the street, so I used to interview people. Mm -hmm. So the final way I will be preserving these peppers, these are the Scotch bonnet peppers and I have a variety of yellow, red, and green. I'm just gonna dehydrate them as they are now. I could wait for them to ripen a little bit longer like in a brown paper bag or something. But as I already mentioned, I'm running low on time and I'm not about to be wasting time just waiting for things to ripen and for me to forget about it. It's a lot going on child. So in the dehydrator they go. And I'm just dropping them in stems and all because this kind of pepper you typically put in whole in whatever dish that you are making. And I believe I can probably, I can probably lay all of these in one tray. And I will put them on a medium heat. And I don't know what the degrees is, so don't be testing me, child. But boom, we'll set that back and we are good to go. All right, so while these things are going, I figured that we could just catch up. Hi, how are you? No touching. Come around. Come this way. So, since the year has pretty much been dwindling and we are in the final quarter of the year, um, I have been really contemplating on ways that I can keep my hands busy. And so I decided to spread out whatever like canning projects that I could for the moment. Obviously the peppers, as I mentioned, were like beginning to go bad. So I wanted to get those out of the way, but that will be the last canning project that I do for a little while. I did, no, I'm lying. Hold on, I'm lying. Because I recently picked up um, two dozen, hit, I recently picked up two Mommy. dozen ears of corn. Mommy because i want to make some corn relish but obviously what yeah hold on hold on one moment did you clean up your toys you can't have a star if you clean up your toys okay okay <laughs> um but yeah i did pick up i might as well just show my local 
little farm stand, I picked up another box of tomatoes, which I will be washing and freezing these. And as for the ears of corn, I believe I'm gonna take them out of the husks, uh, boil them and cut them off the cob and then just put them in freezer bags. That way I can buy myself a little bit more time uh, before I absolutely have to do any canning or anything like that because like I said I'm trying to slow things down a little bit and spread out some and also spread out some of my canning projects that way I'm not overwhelmed and then also I'll have something to keep my hands busy as it does grow a little colder over time and then also <laughs> I recently planted up my hydroponics again. However, the only thing that came up were basil, which is fine because what I'm thinking is I'm gonna reseed all of this with some lettuce um, and the basil can continue to do its thing. I'll continue to prune it back, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I don't know why that happened. I, but I did go on ahead and like just rinse those like pods out, those little sponge pods out and I'm just gonna reuse them again. We are gonna see what happens. Um, I'll let y'all know if that's something that's even possible. But I'm trying to slow things down a little bit. Again, so I'm not overwhelmed because I already got a lot of shit to do in my life. So I don't wanna feel overwhelmed, but I do still need to keep myself a little busy. I don't know if that makes any sense. Seasonal depression, child. Hopefully that makes sense for you. I have been talking a lot to my therapist about making some realistic expectations, which is how I came to the conclusion that maybe I have all of these projects to do, but I need to spread them out. That way I can still get that sense of gratification that I get from the garden back indoors, but at a slower pace, I'm gonna kind of let it come to a slow burn rather than speeding things up. Our peppers, our cowboy candy. She All right, so we ended up with five jars, or these are half pints of the actual contents, and then five more of just the brine or liquid, which it said in the recipe you can use for marinades. I was thinking of like almost treating it like a jelly type situation to like put in like different dips and stuff. So overall, a success. None of my cans busted. Ooh. All right, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end things here because it is almost four o'clock and I gotta take my daughter to her dentist appointment. So I hope that you all enjoyed this um, video. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video, watching as I preserved the last of the summer harvest it was a really sad day when i picked all of these peppers but i'm really happy with what we made here so hopefully you guys enjoyed i wish you all health wealth and prosperity and until the next time peace